In this session, we're going to learn how to do the giraffe. We're going to paint in the giraffe. Okay? As you remember, of course, from our PowerPoint, the giraffes are pretty much like yellow and brown. So I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm going to paint it right over the top of my giraffe. I'm going to paint the whole thing yellow. And just like we learned with the bananas, you might want to add some white in to make it more um, transparent. I mean, sorry, opaque. So we got kind of like a tint of yellow. I'm going to paint in both legs right away. And if you can see already, I missed a place right there on the bottom where the grass should be, so I'll have to put that in later and just be really careful with it. Okay. Now I'm going to paint right over the top of my face and do the body of the giraffe here. Now, there we go with the body part. Now I'm going to go back with the detail brush and if I move this up a little bit here so you can see my brown patch, I'm going to use some brown and mix a little yellow with it to make a yellowish brown. Okay, see that? Now I'm going to use that to fill in my spots. Okay, and you're going to kind of have to scoop up the paint and put it on. This brown can also be used for little M&M things up there and for his ear. Okay, and his mouth is actually, if I kind of lift this up, you can kind of see his mouth should be brownish to put his put his eyes on in just a second. I'm gonna kinda outline right down the side there with the brown. Now take your time, do a nice neat job of this. Lay the paint nicely on inside the shapes that you've already made. Um, if you don't do the right colors it won't look like a giraffe, it'll look like something else. Try not to make your shapes round, because remember they're supposed to be pentagons. Don't make them squares, because they're supposed to be pentagons. If you don't make the, sh the little shapes brown, you don't make the giraffe yellow, it won't look like a giraffe. So make sure you're using the right colors. Right, Henry Rousseau used naturalistic colors, not Fauvism or Impressionism or some other kind of ism thereof. He used naturalism, trying to be naturalist anyways. Of course he had his own little style. Now at that point I'm going to just kind of stop with my brush, clean it off. Just like we did with the bird, I'm going to get some white and make the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to clean my brush off really well. Get a little dribble of black and put it in the middle. So he's got a little black eye there. I mean black in the center of the side. And um, that's going to be done for our jungle picture of Henry Rousseau painting the giraffe.